Hi you guys, it's Kimberly. I am making some embellishments. I'm still really, really super tired, but I wanted to make something, so this is what I'm doing. I am just cutting up scraps of paper. And so, um, let me turn this light off. There is a little bit of a glare because of my um, plexiglass, but hopefully it won't bother too much. So these were just leftover pieces of scrap that I just cut up into rectangles. So I'm just kind of building some piles here. These are scraps of cardstock, more scraps, and then I cut out some little words over here in this section. You can see some of them poking out there. And then this is just a piece of eight and a half by 11 piece of um, light cardstock, lightweight cardstock that I had stamped on. And I'm just cutting strips to get some more strips. And then I'm just going to make some layered embellishments. So let me finish cutting this up and then we'll start building our embellishments. These are going to be really simple, really quick. Whenever I send packages, thank yous, ATCs, I have been sending a lot of those embellishments that you've seen me make in other videos. and. So they go pretty quickly, and so I just like to keep a head on them. And like I said, I'm just, I'm feeling really super tired, and I don't want to get a whole lot of stuff out. Because honestly, like, I could just go fall asleep right now. And I really am just that tired. So I'm just going to take these, and they don't have to be even at all. I'm just going to cut some sections of them. Some will be long, some are going to be short, some are going to go all over the desk. Pile. All of these colors kind of coordinate together. And then I also have a b boxes. If I feel like I want to do some different colors and stuff, I can grab some other papers. So this is also optional if you want to flag your ends. You don't have to do this, but I like to. And I'll just flag the end of it. And I wish I had something that was a little bit thicker. Let me grab. Sorry, my camera moves when I do that because it's on my shelf. So in here I have some more scraps. That doesn't really match. Yeah, I don't know why this cold has just been one of those colds where I'm just so tired. like obnoxiously tired. I can't hardly keep my eyes open most of the time. <coughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do 
is I have these two pieces. Here, let me move this a little. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these two together and they don't have to be even. These ones just happen to be pretty close. I'm gonna take this one and I'm again gonna flag it. You don't have to if you're not comfortable. These are my big scissors, but it is a bit easier if you use smaller scissors. I'm gonna take my glue didn't have any mill today so I can't share any mill. You can either put this straight or you can put it at an angle. I think I'll go ahead and put it straight. So then I've kind of got this long banner looking thing and it's spliced together with that one that's laying on top. If you want, you can put a piece of paper down there. The glue wipes off really easy from this, so it doesn't bother me. Okay, so I've got three layers there. And then I can take another layer and just, you know, kind of go through your script, your scraps. You can use some book paper if you want. <coughs> Anything looks nice. This is some of that sprayed paper that I made. That's not even particularly even. hate to go take another nap, but I honestly am having a hard time keeping my eyes open. <laughs> I've never had a cold that's made me so sleepy that I can remember. So this truly is just about layering paper on top of paper. Okay, and then you can still stick, you know, if you've got a flower or some type of embellishment that you want to put on there, you can still do that. Or you can just take one of your sentiments and stick it on. You can do whatever you want. It's your embellishment. Hi. They just really come out cute. You can do this with ripped papers too. And they come out really cute. Wow, I totally have a dark spot right there, don't I? Why is that spot so dark? Does that help at all? That helps a little. Maybe I need this one. That doesn't help. Let me turn this one on. Okay. So they're just cute little little guys. That's what they are. They're just cute little guys. This light's not doing anything but giving me a glare. This one's really in my face. I'm just going to flag this guy. Okay, and even if you don't want to put two on there, you don't have to. You can just use singles. And really, when you're making embellishments, it's just about layering. Just about making layers 
on top of layers and you don't need anything fancy. All you need is scrap paper. You don't even need die cuts to do this. And these will look cute on anything that you're making. See, I can just put two pieces of paper together and then simply like this is just um, we'll grab a pink word. I don't want anything too long. We'll just grab a pink one that says respect. We'll stick it right in the middle there. And see how cute that looks. So you can just sit and build those for a really long period of time. I just turn this off. Okay, so you could just go and go and go with these. They also look really cute if you tear instead of cutting your edges. If I would have tore. on my edges. If you, let's see that one, I did two different papers, let's see. Like if I take a music note and that one, and then let's take, I think this will look interesting if I can cut off. A piece of This is a piece that I cut those flowers out of. And just put this down. <coughs> and put it as my piece that's going to hold this together. See how cute that looks? Sorry about the sniffles. I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put it diagonal. I think I'll take the black word sheet and put it right in the center. See how cute that is, and it's just all made out of scraps. They come out so cute. I got this paper, this butterfly paper, at Tuesday mornings. And when I made the video showing it, everybody just fell in love with this paper. See what else I have in here. This is pretty. I like. I always like the black and white. So we can put those two together. They're a little bit different in size, but that's okay. Let's take this one. Put some blue. You can go. You can go straight, or you can go diagonal. Doesn't matter. We can flag this one too. So when I flag, I cut in the middle, turn it, and cut out the other corner. Glue it. And I can put this one straight or I can put it diagonal. Let's get a black, go on an adventure. Glue it. It's a good rule of thumb. If you're gonna put, if you're gonna, you know, the lighter color, like I ended with a light color paper, so it's good to put a 
dark word on top. It just makes it show up better. So that's what that one looks like. Okay, so let's keep going with the butterflies. Gonna flag it. Flag it. And let's use a screen to make sure my butterflies are going the right way. She's that green, it's very wide. That's okay. I'm looking. Let's use this black. This one will be colorful. Okay, let's put this one straight. I'm going to put it up more on the black or on the green than on the black because it's so much thicker. Okay, let's take this polka dot. I'm going to flag it. Okay. And I'm going to diagonal it this way, I think. And I think I want one more color on top of that. I think I'm going to take this bright pink, and I know it's too long, so I'm going to cut some of that off. And I'm going to flag it. This is pretty thick cardstock. Glue. And I'm going to put this one straight to kind of get, try to get it in the middle of the whole embellishment there. And then I think that black will pop good on this. This says moments. You can still stick some flowers on here, some jewels on here, butterflies. Here's a piece. And sometimes I'm really picky about coordinating my paper, but other times, like now, I'm not. I'm not picky at all about coordinating it. So a lot of the papers in my stash over here, I've already flagged a lot of it. So that's why when I'm pulling it out, you're already seeing it come out of there flagged. Let's add some glue to this. So I'm going to put this one straight. They kind of separate it a little bit, and that's not that big of a deal if it doesn't bother you. But I'm going to slide it back together there on the back, so that's what I've got so far. I'm going to take some of this stamped paper that I did, and I am going to flag it. If you only wanted to flag one end, you could, and then put, you know, a little heart or a little flower or something on that other end. I'm going to put this down a little bit lower because it's pretty much the same size as that other piece of paper that I did. This one says good times. A little bit of glue in there. Get it in the middle. And that's it. There's another piece of the sheet music. It goes more that way. Let me dig in here and see what else I can find. See some of it, much of this is already cut out. Here's a little piece of purple. 
See, so these are these colors don't really coordinate at all. But once you get it all on here, it still looks really cute together. And it's not even that straight and it doesn't bother me. Girls are super loud today. And I could even add another one of those purples. Or you know what I think I'll do is I think I'll just take some regular book paper and it's kind of long so I'm going to cut it down a bit. But, see and that's why I don't throw anything away because scraps can be used for this kind of stuff. Oops. This says fairies exist. so paper doesn't stick. So you could just keep on going. So really, at this point, I'm just trying to keep myself awake. If I tried to do anything technical right here, right now, I, mean, I, I would completely mess it up because, ugh, sorry guys, I have no ability to concentrate. Sorry, little girls, you're going to have some screeching. Um, so this doesn't take a whole lot of thought. So I figured I would just make something that doesn't take a whole lot of thought process. And I figured since I am doing this and I, I get a lot of questions about embellishments. And one of the ways that I learned from embellishments or learned how to make embellishments was just watching people do it um, repetitiously. So I figured I would share it with you guys just so that you could see that repetition and watch me make some more. And so if you don't like, if you don't want to watch, I completely understand because I have made a lot of embellishment videos. But for those of you that are interested in making your own, Um, this is for you for those of you that want to learn and it does help to watch the same things over and over again to get your feet wet so this one has a lot of layers on it and you can tell and I like the layering I think it just adds a lot of dimension so see so you can put a lot of these together in a short amount of time. Let's see what else I have in here. I like this butterfly paper with the black and white. It's been hard on the girls because they've been so sick. They haven't really been able to go out and do anything.
I have no idea what they're doing up there. If I have the basket. I don't know if we're going to go tonight. It's sunny, Daddy. It's kind of almost dark. This will be cute. So one step at a time. So you put a little button on here. You can do so much more with them if you wanted to. I kind of like to leave them like this so that the people that I'm sending them to, they could add more to them if they wanted to. So I'm just kind of sending them a base. I know what that's a Lucy. And then they can um, dress them up more if they chose to. For whatever project they, you know, we're going to add them to. So I think I'm going to do these two. And then take this one. And add it to this. See you later. It's a gold. And then I've even got things like this. That's a painted book page. There's a little one. Or sprayed. I think I sprayed this with some of my homemade sprays. And then used my Martha Stewart um, ed Edge Punch. And that was a leftover piece. Okay, you guys, so I made a bunch of those, and all I did was layered a bunch of paper scraps. So let me show you some of them that I made. I'm going to go the right way. Okay, so let me just kind of line them up here for you. I stick it in Happy Mail or, you know, when I do trades or swaps with people just as a little extra gift in their envelope. So I made quite a few of them. That's all of them. And they're all made with things that you would have thrown away. And the little sentiments or the little tiny text things are free that I've got. If you want, um, I can just let me know. And if you want a copy of these, just let me know um, below. Um, leave your email address and I can send that to you. All of my, not all of them, but a majority of my scraps I've got cut up into strips already and they're stored in here. A lot of them are already flagged. 
Some of them aren't, but a lot of them already are. So if I feel like making embellishments, I can just open this up and start making them. Um, I also have more scraps, a big, huge tote of scraps. And I also cut up all of these tiny words. When you print them off, they come in a big sheet like this. And I've just already, you know, used my scissors and cut these ones up. So they're all ready. So it's just a matter of taking out some glue and getting all of your supplies. You could put these all on a cookie sheet, take them into your other room with your family, and just sit down and start gluing pieces of paper together. And then you've got really cute little embellishments. So I hope that this guy, this inspires you guys just to get out your scraps and use them up to make some cute little paper embellishments for cheap. You can make these on the cheap. Quick. You can make them quick. Okay guys, so have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always, God bless. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.